Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris Runge with Runge Cars, and this is what will become a Runge RS. If you guys haven't followed along with the previous videos, we have been shaping out an entire body on the buck shown over here to the side. And since the last video, we've made some big progress in getting panels from the buck and actually fitting them to the chassis here. So that's super exciting. And today I'm gonna to show you guys the process that I use for cutting the door openings, uh, building out the door jam. So let's jump into this. So I've already got my paper pattern cut and ready to go. You guys have seen pattern making in the previous videos. This is a very simple one, no compound curves. It's just a simple tracing and cutting. I'm going to check measurements from the belly pan. I have points to measure off of here. I've also got points to measure off of side to side to fit the door exactly where it's supposed to go. And then we'll trace it out and we'll cut it and start fabricating. Now before I cut it out, I just want to double check my radius against the piece that I cut from the other side. I'm just gonna do some light sanding to get rid of any burrs that might be left behind. I can also see a couple areas just need to be straightened out a tiny bit. This door sill is just wide enough that it sits inside of the inner cross bracing in the cockpit which is about six inches. So now I'll go ahead, I'll grab the piece that I have cut and we'll start laying it out. So I'm gonna give myself a mark where the transition begins on each side and I will just bend each of these up till it fits the opening. So I've got this brace on here to keep everything running nice and straight down the line. And I'm just going to go ahead and start tacking it. I don't want to put too much heat in here. Just enough to get it to hold.
So that wraps up this small portion of the build, but it's a big step in the right direction. Having the side profiles on the car now allows me to move towards getting the firewall completed here and then fitting the tail section panels individually to the chassis as well. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth during this portion of the build to double check all the fitment because this is the first time I've used this buck and although everything looks right on the computer, we've got to make sure it fits right to the actual chassis. So thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We've got some great stuff coming and hit the like button, leave a comment. We'll see you next time.